welcome and thank you for tuning in. LAFC have just completed the most memorable win in the history of the club with a 3-1 victory over Club America in the semifinals of the CONCACAF Champions League. What an absolute circus of a football match this was. At the end of the first half, Eduard Atuesta took a boot to the stomach, goes down, Memo Ochoa pretends that Atuesta strikes him, dives, gets Atuesta to draw a red card, putting LAFC in shambles, a goal down, heading into halftime. Now, what we learned in this game is that zonal marking does not work. All right, LAFC's set piece defending, not just on Club America's goal, was atrocious. It was very scary to watch throughout the match. But of course, the hero here is none other than Carlos Vela, the captain of LAFC, the man who put LAFC on the map from day one, scoring back-to-back -back goals right at the start of the second half. I believe about 70 seconds apart, it was the ultimate smash and grab. To do that, a man down catching Club America in a sense, as you might say, the ball don't lie. And the ball certainly did not lie in this match. Latif Blessing came on as a second half substitute, was so industrious, worked so hard, uh, pressed Club America relentlessly, and was well rewarded by scoring the cherry on top, the final goal with the last kick of the game. This match was a victory for LAFC, not only over Club America, but also CONCACAF, all right? CONCACAF is an absolute joke. It is a Mickey Mouse organization, and they proved that tonight with sanctioning such atrocious officiating, not having BAR to correct such egregious mistakes. And to top it all off, Miguel Herrera, the manager of Club America, gets sent off and is allowed to remain in the stands. If you watched what happened unfolding, look, I can't say what happened with certainty, but it looked like they were trying to usher Herrera out of the stadium. And he said, no, no, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, so Herrera not only did not leave the stadium, he was in the front row of the stands eventually with a walkie-talkie. He should not have been allowed to have any influence over the match whatsoever. So CONCACAF will have serious questions to answer about their handling of Miguel Herrera. Now, defensively, I was really impressed with Tristan Blackman's performance, you know, playing at fullback, made so many great clearances, some key slide tackles as well. Mark Anthony K did not bring his A game tonight, and his A game will absolutely be required in the CONCACAF Champions League final because Atuesta is the brains of the LAFC midfield. I would argue that he is the second most important player in the side next to Vela. So in this type of match, only two days to recover, these players are going to have to dig deep if they want to bring what I believe would be Los Angeles's most impressive professional sports title in 2020, and that would be saying something. But for those of you who had the privilege to watch this match tonight, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I certainly look forward to the CONCACAF Champions League final. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you've watched for this long, you might as well subscribe to my channel.